What's going on guys? It's Danny Ives here, uh, the Turtle Guard expert, or one of the Turtle Guard experts. Now I know it's been a while since I shot a video, I'm sorry, I've been super, super busy uh, trying to run my school here in Annapolis and work on different things, but uh, I wanted to do a video because I got a bunch of emails about the Murphy Roll. Uh, thanks for the emails, guys. And everyone had a lot, of the, a lot of good questions, but one of the commonalities I found, people want to know what happens when you can't flip the person over, when you get kind of stuck underneath the person attempting the Murphy Roll. And that's the thing, like no technique is perfect. There's no technique that's gonna work every single time. I don't care who you are, how good you are, any of that stuff. Every technique will fail at some point or another, and the same with the Murphy roll. So when I go do my initial Murphy roll and I go to flip over the person, when I get stuck under him, I've gotta have a plan B and a plan C. The really good guys can go from A, B, C, D, all the way down the alphabet with different techniques. They've got different things lined up when one technique fails, okay? So with the Murphy roll, go on this side, hold Actually, just in case you guys are wondering, I named the Murphy Roll after this kid's dad, Mike Murphy, okay? So with the Murphy Roll, you get the sleeve control, wrap it around your shoulder. If you don't know this move, watch my last video on this. Wrap the leg, and you're going to push off your feet here, and you're coming up and over the top, hopefully landing right in side control, okay? That's great. It's a good technique. Obviously, I use it, but it will fail from time to time, especially if people get a little bit more... Uh, versus what you do, okay? So if I go to hit my Murphy roll now, and he sprawls or blocks, and I can't get that initial technique, I'm not gonna try to force something that's simply not available, because that's not gonna work either, okay? Whenever Mur Murphy roll fails, I go to push off. I'm stuck here, I wanna get my hand on the mat and post, and build my head up here, okay? Really important. Build the head up, get your head up in your back straight, but don't let go, don't let go of the sleeve, okay? Really important. Hold the sleeve, build yourself up, step your outside leg up, as I step up and I build my base here, I'm just going to turn and spin, come out right in front of him. Now a lot of people are going to ask, they go, why not spin behind him if you get your head up like that? You can't. If you go to spin behind, he's just going to chase you. You don't have the good angle there. What this is more about is not sweeping the person, but rather getting yourself out of danger, okay? I learned this, I forget who showed me this. I think I saw a wrestler do something like this. But basically, when you go to hit the Murphy roll, the guy sprawls, there's this pocket of space that you have to work with there. Get your head up and then you take your body through the pocket of space. But again, the key detail, you can't let go of that sleeve, okay? Keep the sleeve glued to your shoulder and in control the whole time, okay? So if I go to do my Murphy roll here, I go to bring him over, I post and I build myself up. Remember, his other hand, he can grab on and do whatever he wants, but as long as I've got this arm on my shoulder here, I'm in good position. From here, I sit my hips through, turn, 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 and come up. Sure, yeah, I mean, you might be able to spin behind the guy in some situations, that's not you know, totally out of the ballpark. But more often than not, if I come and square up with Holden here, it's pretty good. He's gonna square with me, and I'm gonna be here. So again, it is a getting you out of the bad situation type technique, okay? So again, here, I go to do my Murphy roll. It's false, it doesn't work. I don't wanna be stuck here. Post, build yourself up. Keep the sleeve. Now I'm gonna sit through, and as I sit through, notice I didn't let this go. Really important, stay on this arm here. If I get two arms on this one, even better, okay? Up, 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 build your base. Come out and square, okay? Next time I show you guys something, I'll, I'll do a continuation off of the Murphy roll that actually is uh, an offensive technique. But for right there, start with that one, then we'll build. All right, remember, for more information, check out my website, bjjturtleguard.com.